Hopkins, Jessica Diggins and Kika Randall, silver medalist, Charlotte Kala and Ida Ingenelsdotter, and bronze medalist, Soya Lidia and Krista Alantimaki. First of all, uh, Rika and Krista. Well, the first question is, uh, did you expect the bronze medal today, especially um, did you believe it in the bronze in a medal once you saw the Norwegian girl falling on the first on the fifth lap? Uh, actually, I have no idea that Norwegian girl went down, but uh, inside I had good feeling today, and of course, medal was my dream, and I'm super happy that it came true. Was there any moment during the race that you both felt uh, not too easy with yourself and uh, in a trouble, sort of? Uh, it was the last 300 meters that was very hard for me. I was <laughs> full of lactate, but uh, of course that, that you have to feel in these hard competitions. Uh, last two was hard for me, but so after uphill I get my body work again and at last last uh, downhill and last 200 meters was better than first uphill. Okay, Charlotte and Gita, silver medal today, of course, uh, everyone was expecting once again you on the first ever podium, but today were the Americans too strong? Yes, today they were too strong. Uh, they had a really good uh, speed on the last uh, lap for me. It was hard to catch Jesse's back, and I had hoped to be able to send out Ida uh, with Kikan. How did you find the trace, you know, with fresh, with fresh snow falling all night and all day, compared to, you know, two days ago? I, I think it's, today it was like, you have to be, in one line because it was a little bit better it was like a mirror in the snow in one line and if you go outside it was like more like powder so you have to be in the right line and to get good positions and do the right choice on the right way because if sometimes when it went out it was like the skis was going slower okay jessica and kicken well uh what was the tactic today to beat the Swedish, you know, who were favorite number one? Uh, <clears throat> we knew that the, there were going to be many good teams today in the final. Um, we were glad that we got to ski with both Sweden and Finland in the semifinal. Um, so our tactic was just to uh, kind of ski a smart race, kind of see what happened as it went, and if we felt good towards the end, uh, maybe make some moves. And when Jesse went on the final lap, I was in the exchange zone getting pretty excited. <laughs> Next steps in this World Championships for you both? Ah, we're not going to think about the future quite yet. We're just going <laughs> to take we're just going to take it in today. I mean, this is the first ever uh, me gold medal for the U.S. at a World Championships in cross country, and uh, we're really psyched that um, our team really came together today. Our skis were amazing. So fast. Our, our coach our coach was there when Jesse needed a pole. I mean, uh, it was so great to celebrate with everyone that finished just now. So we're just going to enjoy it. Yeah. Any open question in English from you? Yes. Oh. Um, Jessica, how was it to, to, to ski with, with a little bit too, too tall pole? <laughs> um, it was just fine because when I was younger I used to use my dad's equipment sometimes so I'm used to <laughs> skiing with a big pole <laughs> and uh, I think I was just so full of adrenaline and excitement that just to get a pole was like, all right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Hello, um, Petra from Sweden. Uh, Kikan and Jessica, can you tell us about uh, how much the Swedish girls have learned you because you've been training with them for quite a while and uh, how important it has been for you? Well, uh, I still have posters of these girls up on my walls at home. They, you don't know that, but um, <laughs> now you do. So 
Um, I think when we got to come over this summer and train with these girls and get to meet them and, you know, become friends with the team, and I think that was really, really fun. And, you know, we'd, we'd share some ideas and trainings together, and, um, and I think it was really beneficial, hopefully, for everyone involved. And um, I really liked it. It was cool to see Sweden in the summer. It's very pretty. <laughs> Any other questions in English? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for any further questions, please, uh, girls, just move on at the end of the room because, you know, the men are on the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just take one quick. You're, you're uh, a, a waxing guy. Peter, you want some? Yes, I'm yelling